How's it going, y'all? First of all, how many targets have you seen with a backdrop like this? This place is crazy. Today's video is a virtual tour of Cottonwood Heights, Utah. Whew. Super great spot. Let's get into it. My name is Jesse Lynch and I work with the hardest working real estate team in the game. We're called Welcome to Salt Lake City. And you can check out our website, welcome to saltlakecity.co. But this YouTube channel is all about helping you find a place to call home, a place to land here in beautiful Salt Lake City, Utah. And that's whether you're buying a house for the first time or relocating here from a different city, state, country, or planet. First time home buyers and relocations, that's what we do. And that's what we do better than anybody else. If either of those things appeal to you, then do us both the favor and subscribe to the channel and click the bell to get notified so you can see every time we put out these videos, we try to put out the most immersive, honest, you know, in-depth videos about what it's like to live here in Salt Lake City and in general, the Wasatch Front. And while I have you here, if you would, I would appreciate it so much if you'd give the video a thumbs up and just leave a comment of any sort I don't know, you can literally say anything in the comments. I don't care, you could literally type anything in the comments, period, send it, that's cool. Uh, that, you know, that engagement is helpful, not only to this video, not only to the channel, but other people like yourself who, you know, potentially are thinking about moving to beautiful Salt Lake City, Utah. And as always, I say this in every video, but I mean it especially today. Uh, if you are thinking about moving to the Salt Lake City area, get a hold of us, we'll crush it for you. We have this relocation thing down. We have the first time home buyer thing down it's you know it's something that we just decided all right that's what we're gonna specialize in and yeah we got it down it's it's a little more nuancy there's a little more uh, you know semantics involved in a relocation and a little more explaining involved in you know first-time home buyers it's cool it's stuff you know that we're that we're good at and that we have figured out so you can go to our website welcome to saltlakecity.co and we have a contact form there that you can literally fill out in 30 seconds or you can shoot us an email directly to info at welcome to Salt Lake City .co. They lead to the same inbox, so truly up to you how you do it. And if maybe it feels a little too early to reach out, maybe you're still just kind of kicking tires, kind of feeling it out, not even 100% sure you're gonna move here, then go ahead and hang out with us and follow us on Instagram at welcome to Salt Lake City. I like to say, if these videos are a whole you know, pizza of, <laughs> of looking at, you know, living in Salt Lake City, then the Instagram is a smaller slice, you know, more uh, more bite-sized versions of the same thing. I've never made that pizza reference ever. So honestly don't know exactly where that came from. Right now I'm at Mountain View Park. Check it out. How about these Wasatch Mountains? <laughs> it's so pretty. Uh, and I'm basically on the western side of Cottonwood Heights. Today's video, virtual tour of Cottonwood Heights. There's a little bit more room that way. Commercial, uh, lots of commercial amenities over there. And then obviously the beautiful, I mean, does it get any prettier than that? Geez, I wish y'all were here because I think it looks better in real life, but hopefully you're coming here soon. And hopefully this video today about Cottonwood Heights helps you get here. All right, let's go. here 
and running all the way up there is Little Cottonwood Creek, which goes through Little Cottonwood Canyon. Uh, and right now I'm in Crestwood Regional Park. It's just got tons of trails. There's a bunch of people walking their dogs here. I'm gonna take a little more off the beaten path trail. It's gonna take a bit of a cruise here. Uh, we're in Cottonwood Heights where this is an absolutely beautiful suburb. One of my favorite suburbs, without a doubt, largely because of proximity to uh, the mountains, right? And it's so, so beautiful. You're basically right in between uh, Little Cottonwood Canyon and Big Cottonwood Canyon, and your access to the mountains is second to none, and you're just kind of towered over by the absolutely beautiful Wasatch Mountains. It snowed yesterday, and God, they're just so beautiful. I just love just the presence of them. It's so cool. There's opportunity for like the most incredible homes in this area. Actually, Post Malone lives here in Cottonwood Heights. Um, <laughs> that's pretty, you know, guy's got money and he chose here. So I think he's onto something. It is beautiful. And yeah, I, it's, I think it's no secret that it's beautiful here, but that sort of reinforces it a little bit, right? Geographically speaking, you're maybe 23 minutes to the airport, 20 minutes to downtown. You're a bit removed from I-15, but it depends on where you are. Uh, if you're closer to the canyons, closer to the mountains, it's gonna be a little bit further. It'll take you a little bit longer to get out, but yeah, generally something like 20 minutes you know, to, to get to the downtown area or the airport. As far as uh, boundaries are concerned to the north, you have the cities of Holiday and Murray, uh, both great cities as well. Uh, to the east, you have the mountains, that's probably pretty obvious, and the canyons. To the south, you have the city of Sandy, and to the west, you have the city of Midvale. In being so close to both Little Cottonwood Canyon and Big Cottonwood Canyon, you are so close to some of the best skiing in all of Utah. You have access to Solitude, Brighton, Alta, Snowbird, like all just right up the canyon, super slick. Obviously, you're still not even that far from the likes of Park City as well, but you're definitely closer to those as your sort of southern entrance to, I guess, that part of the mountain range. Fun fact, I saw a fox here, and I also just saw a uh, dog that I thought was a wolf for a brief second, but it wasn't. The population here is around 33,000 people, and it's generally ranked like very highly as a place to live. According to niche.com, it's ranked fifth best place for young professionals in all of Utah, and just generally ninth best suburb across the board in all of Utah. Sometimes I don't know how they calculate those things, but I think you know, just knowing that it's you know in the in the high ranks absolutely makes sense to me, as this is a really really beautiful area. And then we dive into the schools, and that you know begins to shape why it is rated so highly. The schools here are generally rated very well, coming in at about an A minus. You're talking ninth highest ratings of all public school districts in all of Utah. Huh? Ninth, that's good. Top ten. It's hard to beat. Um, and in general, the schools in Cottonwood Heights are actually sort of better than the average of the schools uh, in that district, right? So they're on the better end of things. Specifically in terms of high schools, you have Hillcrest High School gets an A minus, and you have Brighton High School, which gets a B plus. For middle school, you have Butler Middle School, which gets an A minus. For elementary schools, a lot of very good options. The following are all rated an A minus. Butler School, Brookwood School, Granite School, Canyon View School, Oakdale School, and Ridgecrest School, Bella Vista School gets a B. So that one falls a little short as far as that goes, but generally very, very good school offerings. And then I think when you combine all of this just magnificent nature, the generally good schools, the conveniences that there are plenty of, Whole Foods, you know, I mean, just call it a day. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Generally, you know, not as bad of median home prices as I would have thought, you know, before I was doing any of this. The median sale price is 660 in Cottonwood Heights, which again, that's higher than the median of the rest of Salt Lake City. But gosh, <laughs> I'm like coming around this corner. Let me just share this with you. When you combine it with access to the mountains and all this other good stuff, I mean, 660 
really not too crazy. So yeah, cheapest home on the market right now is 275. I'm gonna go ahead and say that that is uh, not exactly moving ready. I would say the barrier for entry is gonna be considerably higher than that. Uh, maybe closer to five, something like that. Most expensive house on the market right now, 1.74 million, but again, absolutely some opportunity for more expensive homes uh in some of the you know certainly along the mountains and when the views get just particularly spectacular you could easily spend you know north of two and probably even higher than that for you know condos it's a pretty small range 350 to 675 not exactly like a super condo heavy area anyway but yeah they're out there and townhomes as well there's definitely some good townhome offerings in Cottonwood Heights. So I don't know, worth considering. And then 27% of the folks who live here in Cottonwood Heights rent the home they live in, which means that 73% own the home they live in. And that seems about right. There are sections of Cottonwood Heights where it feels a little, a little more renter, a little more renter friendly. Um, and then there are areas where you're like, I don't know what rent would be here, but <laughs> I don't think anybody's renting here. So just one more time, just give you a little glimpse of uh, these views. I know this lens is so wide, so they look uh, very small, but they are massive and beautiful. And let's go for a drive. We'll head up that way for sure. Get a little more in it and uh, show you what it's all about. Okay, see you in a second. I am uh, pretty much at the beginning. I haven't gotten super far down it. On the Timberline Trailhead, it starts basically right here. I'm gonna work my way back down there, but it goes all the way up here and just continues to go on through the canyon. And I mean, look at these houses, these views that these houses have, incredible. Some of the best views of the Ochre Mountains that really I think there are in the whole uh, range. They look particularly beautiful today with some fresh snow. And yeah, you can see uh, downtown Salt Lake City from here as well. We're talking pros and cons of Cottonwood Heights. And boy, cons were a little tough um, to come up with anything that was like, you know, <laughs> actually interesting, but I think I got a couple. So uh, the first, let's start with pros. You know what I'm probably about to say, very good schools, right? Uh, generally top 10 schools in all of Utah. That's really good. And a bunch of very good, like very good options within the Cottonwood Heights area. I actually just renovated one of the high schools and it's beautiful. Um, just a very nice looking school. Uh, next pro is just gonna be access to the outdoors, how great the outdoor spaces are. Even the municipal parks are really, really nice and typically further down that way. Obviously the trailheads, there's a ton of trailheads, um, which you know seems obvious as it butts right up <laughs> to the Wasatch Mountains. And yeah, also great views, right? I talk about this all the time. I love a view. I love, I love a good mountain view. And I am so jealous of the people who live right here and have these views. They are spectacular. Next pro for me is plenty. And I mean, truly just lots of suburban amenities. You know, all of the, basically all of the staples that one might expect you can get here. Um, there might not be like a huge mall or anything like that, but you know, grocery stores, Target, just Home Depot, convenient stuff, like the normal staples, tons of it. And yeah, you won't, you won't really be missing out on any of that here. Pro number four is this place is filled with different neighborhoods that feel a little bit different from neighborhood to neighborhood, but they are all peaceful, quiet, nice smudge on the lens. Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> I hope that wasn't there for long. If it was, I'm sure it's a little bit distracting, but apologies nonetheless. All of the neighborhoods have sort of the peacefulness 
in common. Very, very nice homes. And which I guess actually that's kind of the next pro. The homes here generally quite sizable, like good spacious homes, um, generally pretty new um, compared to, you know, certainly compared to like downtown. And they tend to have very nice sized yards. Uh, and then I guess last pro, I'm sure there's some others that I'm not thinking of, but the potential for epic homes with epic views. Again, I mean, Post Malone lives here. There's probably something pretty cool about it. And there is for sure. So we'll bop over to cons. First con, probably kind of obvious. I don't think it's really that bad when I think about the amenities, but it is, you know, somewhat expensive when compared to the median of the uh, the rest of the Salt Lake City area, right? 660K median home price. That's not exactly cheap, but when I think about how nice the area is, it actually feels pretty dang good. I mean, next con for me is that it's not exactly super close to downtown, right? It, um, it's not bad, you know, certainly if you're coming from one of the places with crazy traffic, this commute, although it's, you know, in, in distance somewhat far, the commute won't be too bad, but there might be some days, maybe like on a snow day, where the commute could get a little tiresome, but overall, you know, it's less than a half hour. <laughs> to me, that's most people's threshold. And aside from, a, you know, a few particularly bad days, bad weather days mostly, or perhaps like a bad accident or something like that, it's gonna be generally pretty decent. Next con for me, I mean, it, it's hard to say it's a con, but it kind of comes in line with just the fact that it's a suburb, right? Which is that it can be a little bit cookie cutter, Although a lot of the areas have really, really nice homes that are very unique from spot to spot. But in, in terms of the amenities, it can be a little bit cookie cutter, right? Like all everything I said, the suburban staples, they're not that exciting, but are they nice to have? Yeah, for sure they are, right? So just a little bit of a blandness that, you know, comes with suburbia and then not particularly walkable either, right? But again, that is the huge majority <laughs> of suburbs. And that's not to say you can't go for a walk here. You certainly can, but can you walk to a coffee shop or, you know, shops or anything like that? Eh, not so much. And then Last con, and this is something that not everybody thinks about, when you're right up against the mountains, especially with the way the Wasatch Mountains kind of just come out of nowhere, right? When, when you're this close to them, the sunrise can take a while, right? <laughs> like it, it, it's hitting the, you know, the valley in the Ochre Mountains way before it's hitting these homes because it has to get considerably higher in the sky to be hitting these homes. So something to consider, uh, kind of a late morning light. That's all I got. It's literally all I have for pros and cons. <laughs> this is a really good spot. Let's hop over here. I'm going to kind of talk through maybe some other spots that might do the trick. If you like what you see here, maybe you want some more options. Let's go. Right now I'm in front of uh, Brighton High School and this sort of area, this neighborhood is like a more modest part. I just kind of want to show you a little bit of that, somewhat more the modest side of Cottonwood Heights. Um, and before I dive into some other areas that might do the trick, hey, by the way, just real quick, look at this. These views here are insane. Uh, I've said it already a thousand times, but before I dive into some of the for fans of section, I just want to say that if you are thinking about moving here or actually officially planning on moving here, then we would love if you'd get a hold of us and we could be the ones who help you find the right home in the right place here in Salt Lake City, all on the Wasatch front. You can go to our website, welcome to saltlakecity.co.co. We have a contact form that you can fill out in literally 30 seconds, or you can shoot us an email directly to info at welcome to saltlakecity.co and they lead to the same inbox so fully up to you how you want to do it so let's dive in to some of the other spots that might be 
basically it's a quick list. I'm gonna say five spots that you're gonna wanna check out that have a lot in common with Cottonwood Heights. Number one, Holiday is just, uh, just to the north of the Cottonwood Heights area uh, and a great spot. It has a lot in common in general with Cottonwood Heights. Uh, that said, next to Sandy, which is basically just to the south, and then Draper, which is a little bit more removed, but kind of similar in geography. And basically all of these spots offer a lot of the sort of suburban lifestyle, suburban amenities, um, while still having generally very good schools and great views, you know. I mean, there's views all over the Wasatch Front. Um, that said, I think Cottonwood Heights has some of the best. Um, but then if you're not geographically tied to sort of the Southern, Southeastern kind of section of the Metro and maybe the Northern, you know, chunk would appeal to you at all, I would say check out Bountiful and North Salt Lake. Uh, we'll have virtual tours on literally all of these, hopefully in the relatively near future. These videos take a lot of time to make, um, but yeah, we do intend on covering all of these areas. So as always, you know, if you haven't done so yet, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get notified so you can see when we put these videos out. Maybe you're more interested in one than the other. Well, cool. The moment we put it out, if you click that bell, you'll get notified. So yeah. And if you would give the video a thumbs up and say anything at all in the comments, I would appreciate it very, very much. It's helpful not just to this video, not to the, just to this YouTube channel and this real estate team, but it's helpful to other people like yourselves who are potentially thinking about making the move here. And yeah, that's what it's all about. So I appreciate y'all watching. Hope you've enjoyed this. This has been a virtual tour of Cottonwood Heights, Utah. Such a good spot, such a good spot. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one and uh, have a beautiful week. Bye-bye.